Okay, so sometimes I shoot videos and I think, mm, this isn't that great, I'll add to it. And then I shoot video again and I'm like, oh, no, we'll just keep adding to it. And then I end up with like a full week of stuff that I just have not edited and put together. This is one of those times. I didn't hit any theme parks this week. Uh, we kind of just stuck around the house and did some regular stuff. We did do something cool last night. We'll start the video with that. And for the people that are super bored after that, you can certainly log out. Uh, we did get a, a bunch of feedback the last time we put one of these like regular day-to-day -day type videos together that people like seeing it. So here it is. We're going to start with what we did last night. Thursday night in the room. There is a SpaceX launch tonight. Pad 40. We're going to head towards the Space Coast to see what we can see. So it's been raining all day, on and off. It's supposedly clearing up enough so that this rocket can take off. This is a SpaceX Falcon 9. It's got some really cool tech on board. But the real problem is always having to drive a pretty long distance to get out towards the area and then cross your fingers that it's actually going to go up. Mary's never been up to a night launch, so here we go. And when you're driving down 95, you pass by Challenger Memorial Highway. Parkway, my bad. We're currently down by Port Canaveral. We want to go to Jetty Park. We've never been over there, so this is an adventure. So we are waiting in line, I think maybe to pay? To park your car, it looks like it's about 15 bucks if you don't live in Brevard County. I wasn't sure if the park is even open. So you should know here's the prices in case you come over to Jetty Park to watch a launch. This supposedly has a good viewing spot of Pad 40. So we didn't bring any bug spray or chairs or blanket or anything Nothing. like that. So we're completely unprepared. <laughs> but uh, we're down here. Hopefully the launch goes off. We've got an hour and a half before the window opens. Mm, red street lights. Is this the red light district? We made it to Jetty Park. It's pitch black out here. No, shut off the lights. This is what we're looking at with an hour and 15 to go. The gentleman at the parking booth said the pier is one of the best places to see the launches. I know you guys probably can't see too well, but it is an incredibly clear sky right now. Lots of stars. Head over towards pier here. We've got water, beer, and food. Now I believe that is the launching pad that we'll be focusing on. So we're about as close as you can get. Unless you paid to see the launch at Kennedy Space Center. So this is our view. No zoom here. Hopefully going to be able to see this thing light up the sky. Also, tons of water. And I am not going to tell Mary what could be lurking below us. I think it's pretty pitch black from Probably what you can see, but included in the uh, launch tonight is uh, a lunar lander from Israel, which is something significant. It's uh, the first privately funded spacecraft to reach the moon. We're treated to a tugboat meandering its way through the canal over here. I think our view is hindered a little bit by whatever this tree line is in front of us, but we're going to see, obviously, as soon as it goes up. The sky will light up bright, and we'll get a nice trail. Fueling has started. We are a go still. There you go, guys. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yes!
There goes the booster, it's coming down. The booster is coming down, but everybody's leaving. There should be another sonic boom here. The booster's coming down. I assure you it is. <laughs> it's somewhere there. <laughs> well, the launch is done. I had a major fail there with the camera where it was just not focused at all on the subject. And I was trying to take pictures, which I didn't do effectively, and I tried to take video at the same time, which I didn't do effectively, so I saw it. That's what matters, I guess. At the end of this pier, that's the moon. It's huge, and it's not a Death Star. I will say this place emptied out very quickly, but the best way to come down here, I think, these guys have their right, they bring their little camper vans and RVs. We sat in dead stop traffic for 18 minutes and all of a sudden it's like somebody pulled the plug up in the bathtub and let the water go through and we're moving. It's the super moon. We're back at Target. This is just gonna be a vlog where all we do every day is go to Target and Walmart. But it's the following day. And I also went to Publix. And Publix, <laughs> that's all we do. We shop in Florida. <laughs> Why are all the shoes at Target named after Good Guy Joey? We got the Joey Tan boots, the Joe Brown boots, and the Joseph Brown Oxfords. That like section at our Target is really lacking. And they do a pretty bad job at keeping it up. We have this guy. I didn't know this was already on home release. Whoa. A bunch of Captain Marvel stuff too. Marvel Legends figures. Here's Nick Fury. Two of those. Grey Gargoyle. Look at this. It's like in the style of those Star Wars dolls. They kind of look like old brats. And then we've got these little proton effect things. And she got this. Oh, that's cute. Impressive now until you meet Rogue. Lots of Lego movie stuff. <laughs> You screwed up the words. The Star Wars stuff is just all stagnant here, but there's a really cool thing coming out to Target. The vintage figures, like they have like this, were always like a mock-up of the original Kenner type vintage figures, and Hasbro is re-releasing the original Kenner figures. They've already pre-sold out on Target website. They look awesome, but the collecting community is up in arms because they look too much like the original figures. They have a ton of the Marvel Legend figures out, but none that I want or need. These new WWE figures have like a real face scan tied to them, so you can see. They look a little off. It's full on Easter now, with Valentine stuff still in the back at 50% off. White chocolate marshmallow. This is unusual for me to be leaving without a single thing. But I have a bunch of stuff in my cart at Amazon. Waiting to pull the trigger and order. So, nothing at Target today. Monday night after work. Getting chauffeured around. I used Apple Music the other night to shuffle songs from Seven Dust. Listen to just about every song in their catalog and this song never came up. It was literally the only song that I wanted to hear. So just beyond this mess of stuff that Mary has on her ear is <laughs> Road Rangers. Do you guys have Road Rangers in your state? We didn't have it in New York. These guys just come and help you on the side of the road if you're broken down or anything. But the other day I had a little bit of a fender bender and the Road Rangers yelled at me because I was blocking the highway. There's like another super moon out tonight and this one's the snow super moon. Like, I don't think I ever heard the term super moon until like two years ago. And now I think like every full moon is like a super moon. <laughs> Let's be clear, there's only one super moon and it happens when I have too much to drink and... <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> there's an RV show going on at the mall. I just want one.
make a new hat. Making hats, or buying hats for the channel, because this is pretty much the hat that I wear most of the time, outside of the Stormtrooper hat, or Lightning, or Mets. But these are made at Lids. Anybody can go into Lids and just make this. This is five point, this is point five five font. So many of the stores in this mall have gone out of business already. And this one, this is a big guy, Victoria's Secret. This place is becoming a ghost town. See, all around here, store after store, closed up. As we walk away, we have one more store that's closed. Now I think part of this is just demand. There's so many new buildings that are going up and people are migrating to the area like crazy. So population is super high, but shopping habits changed. And I'll be the first person to say, I buy most of my stuff on Amazon at this point too. I still except when I need to go to store specifically for something, it's usually to try something out, but that's, yeah, I have to try everything out. But everything uh, in these malls, and this is not just this, this particular mall, this is the Seminole Town Center, but the malls, are everywhere in in the same same situation so here i am just over a year and change once again on i4 once again in another fender bender accident this time totally just driving in traffic and this car or woman so nicely behind me in this nissan rogue uh, decided to uh, look at her phone and hit me from behind so i am now waiting for the police and completely blocking the left lane so one hour has passed since we've had the accident. The road rangers moved us off of I-4. Uh, we're sitting on Ivanhoe right now. Called back to let the police know that we had moved, and that was more than a half an hour ago. Um, we're still just waiting. And the person that hit me has tried to drive away now uh, multiple times. So back home, now I'm in another car. And now I got Mary driving. Um, I don't think the damage is bad on the van, but we won't know until it goes to somewhere that they can see. It looks like there's like a split in the bumper on the back, which is lucky because the bumper for the Kia Sedona on one part, with all the mechanical stuff in it, it looks like that's all like one part, which if you go to get cars repaired before in your past, you realize that that, that really becomes expensive because they typically have to replace the entire piece. Uh, but the lower bumper looks like it's the damage, so we'll see. I will say this. The cop came, the person that hit me asked the cop to put in the report that my van had no damage uh, because it was her birthday. This is after she tried to drive away five times and told me that it, she didn't need to wait around for the cops because she had other things to do. Um, so the front of her car, she was driving a Nissan Rogue, uh, the medallion came off um, and she picked it up and kept it and the cops asked, you know, like what kind of damage she had sustained and she thought she had no damage. When she went to go look at her damage, uh, the medallion had fallen off, she kept it to the side um, and she went to go say that the medallion was broken. He said, oh, this is nothing, you know, we could just push this back in and push it in and her front end started falling off of the car so it was like dragging it. He was like, um, how much do you think this costs to her? And she was like, I don't know, maybe under 500 bucks. And he was like, this is significantly going to be more than $500 worth of damage for you. So yay me. So this is the way it works. She gets a ticket. She freely admitted to the cop that she was looking at her phone and was looking down at her phone on the console, not paying attention. That's why she hit the car. She's found a fault. She gets a summons um, and she's liable uh, as the cause of the accident. However, I get a wonderful $500 deductible uh, for having to be hit from some asshole um, on the highway while I'm just trying to drive. And so the kick in the ass is, um, I was on my way to Universal and I was so stoked because I finally won one of those Universal Pass Holder things where you can go to a movie preview for free. I was going to meet one of my buddies down at Universal, go see the movie, get collect whatever swag they're giving out, and uh, now, I mean, I'm just obviously going to have to wait a few days to see the movie, but I was really looking forward to that and being able to hang out a little bit after work. But now I get to hang out with her! Yay! And now... I need some comfort food. This is our favorite place. At our favorite table. Sitting underneath the Goodfellas. Does Joe Pesci look funny to you? 
veal parmesan with some spaghetti. Very good. Shrimp florentine. I must botch that. I must have had veal parmesan also. <laughs> we stopped in Target, of course, on the way back. Look at this outfit. Straight out of the 80s. It kind of reminds me of like sweet oars with the sides. Snoop Dogg. I'm feeling lucky. Only you can prevent forest fires. Oh, you can wear that with my Oh, but this shirt. is wildfires. Uh, What's going on with that? Use that? Mickey shirt. This is an adult shirt? <laughs> yeah. Wow, and that's extra large. <laughs> oh my god. This comes together as like a whole outfit. It's pajamas. Oh, Guns N' Roses pajamas. Dream of Slash. <laughs> There's a Disney villain shirt for men. I'm not sure I would ever wear that. I had some comments from people on the purple rain shirt I wore the other day, and this is where I got it, by the way. It's St. Patrick's Day, Mickey. I'm feeling so lucky right meow. The Brady Bunch party game. But why? Star Wars toy section has really shrunk these days down to just a couple of pigs. Look at this porg. And this little porg lets. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for this mishmash of video. And we'll be back again soon doing something fun. Thank you a lot for watching. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.